Fuel! Are you okay? It's go time, guys. Boss fight! Woohoo! Let's see who we're fighting against here. This guy's actually pretty nuts here. He's got this defensive stand skill, which means we should probably go back into a Medic Medic Sentinel here. See what he's going on here. He's casting Bruinga and things of that nature. That's interesting. Well, we'll switch back to our Relentless Assault here. This guy's called Zenobia, and he's a tough boss, I guess. I don't really know what he's weak to, so it probably would be a good time to... Actually, it would probably be a good time to take out his freaking tentacles, because they'll seem to be curing him, which kind of is stupid, but hey. we got to get these guys staggered as soon as possible here. Please, Chocobo, go attack him, because we're going to lose our stagger bar on him, as you can see there, which kind of pissing me off. But there it is. There's the stagger that we needed here. They're going to be curing each other, and I believe this is the only way to knock him out of his defensive mode. As you can see, it's just going to continually do damage to us. And that Onslaught is, I'm guessing, doing area effect damage. I can't really tell because there's so many things going on on the screen right now. But that's okay. We got this other tentacle staggered, so he should be dead fairly soon because we have Sarah on it now. There we go. And then here's the last one, which should be staggered after our magical assault on him there. Perfect. Although it'll be a quick stagger, our Chocobo should make quick work of him. And we should be ready to go on for a full-on assault on this guy. Hopefully we can get him down fast. It seems to be like this is going to be a boss fight of speed because the faster you get this guy into stagger mode, the faster you can keep him out of his defensive stance. And hopefully you'll be able to launch combo him here or there, something of that nature. And hopefully we'll eventually start doing damage on him. As you can see, his bar is completely green. But I don't really need to use a lever scope here, I don't think. We just need to get some fast attacks out on him, stagger him as quickly as possible, see if we can get a feral link off once he does get staggered. As you can see, those tentacle attacks are fairly interrupting, so we have to be a little bit more careful about that, but we're doing some dedicated damage on him as now, now as well. Hopefully we'll just get a nice long period and just sort of pound into him as, as fast as we can here. We just need to watch him now when he's staggered. Hopefully we can... Oh, we do get a feral link here. Okay, perfect. We got 319% on that. As you can see, watch the stagger bar just go up way, way high. I'm not sure whether we should switch into more of an aggression type class. I think I'm going to actually wait until one more attack turn here because it looks like we'll probably get him to somewhere around 999 there. But here we go. We'll switch into our Chocobo. We'll give Noel the benefit of the aggressive doubt here, if you will. We're going to continue to attack him. We probably could have waited one or two more attack turns, but you never know if this enemy is kind of like Caius's, where he could just drop into a defensive stance, or something like Gogmagog. You saw that with Gogmagog, so we'll see something probably like it once we get him to around halfway here. I Hopefully we'll get some massive damage on him towards the end of Stagger here, but we will end up seeing... This will be remain to have been seen. Okay, let's switch into our Medic Medic Sentinel roll here. Maybe we can sponge some damage. You can see he does something like Runga on us. You have to be very careful with that. There we go. We'll just cure our, our last person here. And we'll switch to this. And as you can see, they're casting debuffs on us, so we have to be very careful about that. We'll just go and continue to take down these tentacles here. It seems like the name of the game, so to speak. And these guys stagger fairly easily, so it's good that we are using Relentless Assault here. I just, hopefully, they aren't going to continue casting debuffs on us, because that is really going to do a terrible amount of damage to us here. And hopefully, okay, good, we are attacking more of the tentacles here. we got to be careful with who we're attacking, because if you're not attacking the right ones, then it's going to cause you a real problem down the line, because that means they get more attacks off, more debuffs off, and more chances to really sort of destroy your party here so we're gonna sort of keep in it here I don't want to really switch to a medic just quite actually I'm gonna do that see if we can get a hyper rescue off there before the ruin go hits perfect that was actually a really good move by me you might guys might not have been able to notice it but that was a pretty darn good thing here what is that shuffle that shuffle seems to be a multiple attack here and it's okay because we're taking that fairly well we actually did take that really really well so we're just gonna continue on trying to kill mr. Zenobia here Gonna get this guy staggered as soon as possible. ASAP is the name of the game here. As I called out before in the beginning of the match, I'm actually fairly happy that I sort of guessed this guy's strategy fairly well. I don't even remember. I didn't even look this guy up, so 
I'm fairly happy with the results of this battle so far. We just have to worry about him dropping into that defensive stance again just before we get him into a stagger, so seems like we're not doing too bad here. The outcome of the battle should be one more stagger turn, I believe. I'm really not forecasting anything kind of ridiculous against him here. Hopefully that debuff wears off on Beaky fairly soon so we can get a little bit more of a bonus sort of damage going on here, but so long as we're doing this, I'm pretty okay with what we're doing here. Stagger bar somewhere, let's see, 515, that's not too bad. Pretty okay with that. Once he gets around 700, 800 again, I think I'll think about switching again. Oh, there he goes, right back into his defensive stance. Switch to our medics here. This is going to be kind of an interesting one here, and we'll sort of try to heal everyone before he throws out like what he did before. Just get that defensive bonus. So heal our crush abolic here. As you can see, they're rapidly throwing out their debuffs, and we're going to switch right back to relentless assault and start hitting these tentacles. Get them killed. Gotta get these guys killed as fast as possible, so... Oh boy. Looks like he's charging up for a huge attack here, so... <laughs> gotta be careful. As you can see, he kinda did hit us with a huge attack. Come on, Chocobo, there you go. I was waiting for him to stabilize our bar against the Vibalathus there. Vibalathus. Those are the name of tentacles, I guess. I'll just call them tentacles. Those guys aren't actual individual monsters, because that'd be kinda cool, actually, but... They're not, so we just need to kill them as fast as possible here. Oh my gosh, oh boy, switch. Can we switch? Yes, we need to switch. Alright, stay alive, everyone. Cure, cure, cure. Oh, Sarah's dead. That's, that sucks really badly. Oh boy, okay. Let's switch Phoenix down on Ms. Sarah. Come back to life, Sarah. We love you. Okay, good. Switch to aggression here just to get a couple attacks off. I really don't want him to drop into a defensive stance again. I actually am going to switch back to diversity now because we do need the heals. The more heals, the better, and that means we can at least put out a little more damage while we are getting heals. Actually, I'm going to use Hyper Rescue and just switch right back to Relentless Assault. It's a good use of your Feral Link against this guy. Like I said, it is a race, so you want to get this guy as far as you can up to his stagger. I'm going to use Quay the second he goes down into stagger mode, just in case he drops back into a defensive stance. So, got to be careful with that. Hurry up. One more, one more attack turn, we should have him staggered here, so... There we go, perfect, and we will get our synchronization here going. That was a really crappy synchronization, but regardless, we're going to get him a very high stagger bar for where we are as far as this goes. And we'll switch probably around 600 this time around, so we'll be able to output some better physical damage on him. Just keep interrupting him as fast as we can here. We're going to switch right after Noel's attack turn here. Switch right to our aggression party. We can get three sources. Well, actually, no, two sources of physical attack with Sarah's continued magical support. It's just really better than what we could have asked for here. A couple more ruins before this guy, and then he should be dead. Yes, we did get him. You! No! Look out! Oh, perfect cinematic action. I freaking love it. We may have one starred him, but we also didn't have a very high damage output, even though we did a pretty good job with the battle, I do have to say, so we'll just continue on here. We got ourselves a crystal petal, which is pretty sweet. You'll... you'll lie! I saw death. If I were to live, it would bring contradiction to... to the timeline. But why? It's because of us. Just like Kaya said. We're causing a paradox to occur. <laughs> because of that, Noel has to... She has to... Caius... Caius is not here. You mean, he's not here in the city? <laughs> Yule, hold on, please! No, I am not the Yule he once knew. Thank you. For 
the love of Etro? Don't thank me. An artifact from you. She's showing us the way. Yeah. <laughs> Papa. Wow, another really, really powerful scene there with Noel and Yule both together. They reunited just for a second, just so that Noel could figure out that she isn't the actual Yule that he knew. And this has to continue and continue and continue, but anyways, we found ourselves an artifact here. We also got ourselves a Xenobia artifact, which is really, really nice. Or a fragment, excuse me, that gave us 6,000 Crystarian points and a continued sort of outlook on leveling these guys up here. We might be able to sort of st just kind of steal one more expansion. Can't even go down there, what's the point? But I actually am going to go down there because I'm not sure if I discovered everything. Ah, see? That's perfect. Anyways, like I said before, you know, it's going to be really good in the leveling situation for us here, so that's pretty sweet. We really can't do much here now besides pick up this last treasure chest and head right back in the flow of time, so we might as well just do that and sort of continue things as it were here. Maybe we'll get ourselves into a different sort of academia because it did mention something about Hope last time in the description of the 400 AF that we saw before. So without further ado, use a tower artifact to activate the gate and step in the flow of time. Of course, let's do it. You all saw everything and realized that. She knew exactly what would happen today. There was never a time she didn't. But even so, she didn't try to avoid her fate. It's the law of the Farseers. Seers must not change history to save themselves. Because if they do, they can doom thousands of others to a worse fate instead. How about it? Ready for the truth? The law of the Farseers. It's a terrible thing to live by, because to obey it means someone has to sacrifice themselves. Lightning, tell me, is there no way for us to save everybody? Noel and I are traveling through these gates because we believe we can change our fate. But even as we do, I can't forget what Yule said. She said Caius isn't in this city. But if that's true, who was it that we met here? Well then, it seems like we have more traveling to do, but... Oh, it looks like a different Augusta Tower has been unlocked. This is the Augusta Tower in 200 after the fall, whereas the other Augusta was, I believe, was it 300? We're going to see it over here. Yep, it was 300. And probably since we went to that Augusta, we did a little bit of stuff that we needed to get through this Augusta, but I'll probably explain that as the time comes. But without further ado, let's have a little let's have a little talk about Augusta Tower. Augusta Tower is the central information processing facility of the Academy. The entire edifice is occupied by the machinery of an artificial intelligence that possesses unprecedented processing power. It also houses the proto Falci project, an ambitious plan to create a man-made Falci. Here too is recorded the forbidden history. 